Hi there, Z here, and if you guys wouldn't mind, I just want to ask you just a real quick personal question, and you guys don't have to worry about it, I don't want to see your dicks, I don't want to see no dick pics, you keep it to yourself and you keep it away from me, but what game have you guys ever really seen or played that had, um, I don't know, uh, Link from Zelda on it, a uh, 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 Sailor Moon knockoff, um, a weightlifter that gets transformed into a dog but still stands up on his hind legs and just flexes his way through danger, and a nondescript YouTube overweight YouTube reviewer. I'm not mentioning names. Okay, I'm just gonna let that resonate for a little bit. Just let that rhetorical question resonate. Yes, it would be Death Road to Canada, the game review that you guys just clicked on. And actually, for a handsome price of about $14.99, you too can have your mad ad-lib type game flourish into what the fuck is going on. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go into this review, and let's hope that we get out without being turned into a dog. <laughs> Now the first thing you'd notice is a very mm, retro feel to this game. To the, let's be honest, fucking amazing soundtrack. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it's so good! To the retro art style, it's all there. This is pretty much Nostalgia Bait 101. And for all you graphic snobs out there, this doesn't mean that it's bad. Just because something's not 3D fucking rendered does not mean, oh, looks like we should throw this in the garbage right next to the baby. No, 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 no. It, let me just go into something right here. Uh, metaphor, I'm gonna give you a metaphor. It's like going to a bar with a friend, and even though he didn't mention it, he only really wants you there so you can help him bang a special lady friend. And not the great way of banging where you both get into a threesome and then you like high five each other from each side of her. No, 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 no. You only help him by banging her much uglier friend. So. You all get to talking, and you realize this is not going to be a sober job. This girl is as ugly uh, as a personality as her outside is. So, you have a few beers, right? You have a few beers just to kind of, you know, loosen up. And then you find out that the beers aren't really working as quickly as you hoped. So, you go to hard drinks. Maybe you go outside and have a few cigars to make it a little bit easier to get drunk. And throughout the night, things get blurrier. And maybe a little bit blurrier. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, keep going, keep going. Blurry, blurry, blurry. blurry. Stop, stop, stop. You don't want to black out. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, you haven't blacked out yet, and she's blurry enough that it doesn't really matter what she looks like. Now, your friend's already gone. Let's be fair. He ditched you hours before, and this chick is not going to let you leave without some sort of action going down. So, you pull her in close, and you say, hey, baby, just go out, just go out back behind the dumpster and get into position. I'll be right there. Then you can go into the bathroom, apply some protection to yourself, including maybe a stun gun in case she wants to, I don't know, kiss you or something crazy like that. Look at yourself in the mirror, maybe have a cry and wonder how low your life has gotten, and I mean, this game's kind of like that. It's blurry, but it's definitely going to get your dicky sticky by the end of the night. And if you just can't continue with this type of life and you just want to rage quit right away, you can always kill yourself. Hmm. <clears throat> You know, I, uh, I wasn't expecting for that to end so dark, uh, uh, I was really hoping it to be a, a nice, profound metaphor. Where the fuck did I come into this? Oh, right, Death Road to Canada. Anyway, anyway, back paddle, back paddle, back paddle, life is precious, please don't kill yourself, permanent solution to a temporary problem. So, okay, what this game has going for it, different than, let's say, Oregon Trail, which is pretty much like the Oregon Trail for those of you who have never played the game, but with zombies, where you get to see your friends die to random encounters to zombies instead of just, you know, dysentery. Yes, it still has some things like random encounters with bandits and wildlife and other wacky things like a lot of the other 
types of these games, but every so often you can choose to pretty much go away from the road and spend your time rummaging through other people's businesses or personal houses or underwear drawers where you find a lovely, lovely action scene where an 8-bit realism you could bash the brains out of zombies head in just a fantastic cathartic gore scene Depending on what characteristics you and your party may have makes you proficient in things like charisma, strength, fitness, mechanical, medical, yada yada yada, and a few other things that are just completely useless like wit. I mean, who needs to have wit when you can just smash zombies like a beer smashes brain cells? Yuck, 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 yuck. And throughout the trip to Canada, which, mm. You know, I don't really know why, Canada. Your character said something about living in Florida, and then he has to move up to our shifty neighbors in the north because there's some sort of stronghold or vaccine or whatever. But but to be fair, I wouldn't know. Never finished the game. Yeah. One thing you will notice about this game is it's harder than my nipples on a breezy fall evening. The random events, random characters, and constant chaos of this game makes it easy enough to get sucked in, but when the game just kind of dangles the finish line, the end game in front of you, only to have it yanked away at fucking day five, five days left, because you suck at ducking and weaving between massive hordes of zombies, or you ran out of ammo, or your weapon broke again, it only makes you want to try it again, and again, and again, only to get fucking pissed off after the eighth time dying in one sitting, so you rage quit. Only to come back ten minutes later after a jerk-off session to keep dying, or or as I like to call it, the Binding of Isaac Syndrome, and you start making it feel like that Satan may have made this game. You know what? Maybe Beelzebub himself has infiltrated our games and is slowly making every gamer mad. I mean, just look at all the hard-ass games throughout the entire year. The, the, the Ninja Gaidens, the fucking Battletoads, and now these games like this one and Binding of Isaac where they just make it so fucking hard but you want to beat it because you're a gamer. And, oh my god! Now that I'm just thinking about this, I think I'm on a roll here. What 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 else could be described as the Steam Summer Sale? Or any of the Steam Sales? Look at all these games that I've bought! I haven't played 80% of these games and it just gnaws at my conscience. But how can I? I'm just an adult who has bills and dogs and beer addiction sprinkled with like a little bit of a pornography obsession. And what can a scumbag like me do against such evil controlling the gaming industry? And that would actually explain a lot about uh, EA's actions over the years. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look into this Illuminati conspiracy theory a little bit more, guys. 4chan, get on this. But putting all that aside, every single part of it, the group management, the fairly difficult gameplay, the inventory management, putting all that aside, what makes this game a little bit better than all the other management survival type games out there is the motherfucking humor. Seriously, this game has such a great sense of humor that I just can't get enough of it. Like, I mentioned at the beginning, you do have cameos from people in this of uh, video game characters that you might know, or, or people from TV, we got people like Octodad, and, and Gordon Freeman, and Zelda shows up, and Elvis, and fucking the weirdest ones ever, but I think, I think the one weirdest one I've ever had is a cloaked figure named Woof. And I know what you're thinking, it's just a dog in an overcoat, right? It's just a dog in the overcoat. How could you be so surprised? You're a fucking moron. You are so wrong. It was three dogs in an overcoat. <laughs> Seriously. When I found him and he got surrounded and died by a zombie horde, I just thought, oh boy, you know, now I got to de deal with the wow, wow, wow sound of one of my uh, members dying. But then three little puppies just jumped out. And I was the proud owner of a litter of three dogs that for some reason were trying a 1990 scam of sneaking into an R-rated movie. I don't think they ever got in either. I don't. I don't think dogs can, can can do so well with money. You know, they don't have thumbs or anything. So, sucks for them. The actions and dialogue is surprisingly funny and sometimes really the dumbest way possible. It's kind of like watching Dumb and Dumber, uh, two. Not Dumb and Dumber. -er, for those of you who are gonna jump on this, Dumb and Dumber two. Fuck you, Dumb and Dumber. -er. You are a piece of shit. 
But, you know, the second one wasn't probably as good as the first one, but it still had, it was still funny in the dumbest fucking way possible. Okay, going off, tra going off track here. You can have a couple people with opposing characteristics from another, one another, and boom, they'll just start arguing in the car and just fucking debasing each other left and right, pretty much lowering both of their morale at the same time. Think that weightlifter will help you kill all these zombies because his strength is super absolutely high? Nah, he'll just grunt and get two inches away from their face without actually throwing a punch. You want Elvis to stop singing like Elvis? That's too fucking bad. Sacrifice him to the horde. And just like most other games out there, this game has been out for, I'm guessing, 2016, 2015. It's been out for a year. So I'm not really jumping on the bandwagon of, oh, look, a new game. Let's do reviews on it. Just like most of the gaming on a budget things, they're gonna be older games that are for less than $20, and I would suggest getting this game. Sure, it might not be for everybody. If you need the old shoot 'em up type deal, probably not gonna be within your style if you want something a little bit more pretty looking. Again, probably not in your style unless you do enjoy retro art, which I do, so nothing to complain about right there. But for $15, like, I, I don't, I've, I've, I've done, if I can remember, about maybe 10 hours on it. 10 hours, and I got to day four, day four or five or something like that, and I died. And it was the most frustrating thing in my entire fucking life. But like I mentioned before, just made me want to do it all, all, all again, and again, and again, and again. And then I would quit it and play a, a game of League, but that's beside the point. I would definitely get this game if you enjoy the kind of stuff that I've been talking to you about. Is it like... I try to think of another like survival uh, uh, game. Is it kind of like uh, uh, this War of Mine? No, I mean, it, like I said, if I had to pick something, it would sound it's like it's a lot like Oregon Trail, but with the zombies, and then you could break into other places and whatever. I would suggest getting it if you're not a loser or a nerd. Well, no, if you are a nerd, I would suggest you getting this because that's what nerds would like. Don't be a loser though. There's two types of nerds. There's loser nerd that just stays at home and they're 36 years old and they hang out with their parents all day long and they get drunk every night and then they shove dildos up their asshole and then there's cool nerds, the ones that hack into the Pentagon and show that your p politicians have not been in, as uh, open with you as they used to. You nerds are the real MVP. But don't come anywhere close to me because uh, I'm pretty sure the government's after you.